And, you know, actually, a lot of podcasters use these. They're, they're good recording devices and so forth. Hey, it's uh, time to talk about using your high-speed Internet connection for phone calls. A recent report predicted that 30% of American homes will, have, will get rid of their landlines by the year 2010 and will start using cellular and voice-over Internet for their communication needs, just like Amber, you know. So if you haven't jumped on the VoIP, that's what they call it, Voice Over Internet Protocol Bandwagon, just because you're, you know, I don't know, hesitant about where to begin, let's, uh, let's talk to Ron Gruya about, uh, Gruya, about yes. cell phone technology. He is a consultant with Frost & Solomon. Ron, welcome. It's good Hi. to have you. So you brought some interesting VoIP phones here. It's kind of fun. Right, right. So uh, I guess the, the angle here, we're going to be showing stuff that's uh, in the enterprise, but, uh, you know, it could also be used as, you know, teleworker sets. And business has really taken to voice over the internet. Right away, they absolutely, got it. What absolutely. was it about voice over the internet that attracts business? I think uh, there's a few things. First of all, the uh, operational expenditures, like uh, saves savings. Saves you money. Saves you money, absolutely. Yeah. I think also the fact that you could combine both voice and data on a single network right. and you achieve uh, also so other, other types of efficiencies. But we're also going to see here that there are things you can do because it is co essentially computer data that you couldn't do with a switched telephone network. Absolutely. Things like forwarding and call, and call handling, it really gives you much more control over what you're doing. Absolutely. In fact, that's what I like about it for the home. And when Vonage has a web-based interface that I can, I, I can get my, uh, e my voicemails are on the web. Mm -hmm. I can see who called, who I called. I mean, it really is amazing, the right. information that they... They provide. Sure, absolutely. What I do you mean, think? What do you think? Why do you think consumers are a little slower to adopt voiceover? I think, uh, to a certain degree, it's uh, well. Some some of these uh, applications have to pass the mum test. You yeah. know, the so-called uh, test to make sure that uh, it's simple enough for everybody to use. But I think also. Uh, like anything else, uh, it, it takes a little bit of time. It's usually there's a certain uh, process that happens that uh, a lot of times, you know, uh, there's some, some applications that, uh, that you use that are really cool at work, right, and right. eventually it takes time before you, you start seeing them making their way home. Uh, but I think uh, also, you know, what, you're gonna, what we're going to show here today is, uh, is just how these uh, phones are becoming much more than just simple communication tools. They're, They're really becoming powerful. business tools. Yeah, I love them. I, I yeah. use voice over the Internet all the time. I would say the two complaints that I have, and maybe others have, is sound quality sometimes varies. Mm -hmm. uh, if the internet gets congested, it can sometimes hang me up or just start sounding bad. Right. Has that been solved mostly in business? Is that better because they have better connections? Sure. Or? Well, you know, the term VoIP is a little bit deceptive because a lot of people, it's voice over internet protocol. A lot of people tend to focus on, on internet. And it's not necessarily the public internet. It's not necessarily the public internet, exactly. Okay. So if, if you're doing, if you're talking about an enterprise uh, network uh, where you could actually make sure that, uh, you, you know, clear out all unnecessary traffic, you prioritize right. your, your, your voice traffic over, your, you know, over right. your data traffic. You don't have those issues. You don't have those issues. But even on the Internet nowadays, believe it or not, you could get some pretty good quality. If you look at... Uh, Skype's you know, amazing. Skype, yeah, Skype's yeah, amazing. Yeah. It's better than phone quality. Absolutely. And then the other issue is the 911 issue, and that's one that's really been a struggle, uh, certainly in the States. The Federal Communications Commission has required 911 support. In fact, I keep getting messages from my voice over Internet providers saying, now you understand that you have to enable 911. It's right. not going to work. Well, it's, it's it's a tricky aspect, and uh, and I'm glad you, you brought that one up because uh, you know the issue is that the ubiqu ubiquity of uh, voice over IP sometimes makes it tough for you. To I can take down. my voice my voice over internet exactly. phone with me. Yeah, I might be in a hotel in Toronto. That's right. And that's the, right. And the uh, re emergency responders will go to my home and pedal them in that's California. Right. That's right. So that's but, not good. <laughs> but there are solutions in place that uh, that will handle that. It's just uh, it takes a little bit of time before you know people are getting get adjusted to this. Right. And you know there's a lot of uh, vendors that have already solved that problem. Problem. Right. You know, and by the way, this problem also existed uh, even in, in the legacy world when you're talking about TDM sure. phones when you're taking or TDM cell phones. phones even. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, let's take a look at some of the toys that you sure. brought us here. This is from Avaya. Right. This is what looks like a regular business handset here. Yeah, yeah. What it's, makes this special? Well, it's basically um, it's, it's an IP phone. And, uh, you so know, this plugs into the internet, not into my phone system. Right. This this could actually internet. you could use it you could use it from home as well, and and or you could use it from from your corporate LAN. Uh, either way, you could use it as a teleworker set. And what right. we're going to demo here is is basically the, it, a product called the EC500, the extension to cellular. So um, what you're going to do is I'm going to dial this phone. Yes. From from the cell phone. That's right. But because this phone is this is something you can't do with a regular phone, but because of the computer data angle you can do with a, something like this. It's, right. So it's going to ring both this phone and another phone? Right. It's going to basically, uh, what's going to do is going to ring this phone and my cell phone. Let's say I'm, a, I'm an executive and I happen to be away from my desk, right. so it's going to ring both simultaneously. So it's ringing my desk phone. And it's going to ring this one a little bit. With and a it's going to ring Tinker, Tinkerbell, too, as soon as... as 
There you go. So that way you never miss a call. That's right. And no matter I where just you are. And say, hello, hello. Well, hi, hi, Ron. I thought you were at work. Uh, well, you know, I'm just taking a little break here. It's an honor to be at uh, your program, Big Fan. That's a nice thing to have. So the capability of uh, uh, actually the phone finding you wherever you are. Yeah, well, if, you, if you call me Should back. Should I call you back? Yeah, well, what I wanted to show you is that you could do a quick uh, handoff from, from this phone. Oh, you could go. So you, I, get, I so could, you get, get home, exactly. get out of the car. That's right. All right, so we're going to do that again. So I get home. I'm in the car. I answered the phone. And I, I don't tell him I'm not in the office. There we go. I was at the ball game. I was at the hockey game. So I'm just speaking. So Ron, uh, I thought. You, uh, where are you? I'm, uh, I'm still getting to my office, Leo. Hold on a second. I'm going to get there. Hold on. All right. So I'm going to now push this button here. And here we are. We're now talking. Oh, that's great. It in, picked up. In here and I Completely up. seamlessly. Exactly. So all of a sudden, I'm no longer on the cell phone. Right. But in it, if I'll be honest with you. To me, I didn't hear anything except the quality changed a little bit. But that was the biggest difference. Right. That's interesting. Yeah. 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 Most, most people wouldn't even know that happened. Absolutely. The quality is pretty good for voice over internet and enterprise. I mean, because they have these good networks, the quality really right. is pretty good. Isn't right. It? Yeah. Well, you know, again, you know, they prioritize they prioritize the uh, quality the, of service. The quality, the yeah. quality of service. Right. There's all sorts of things. They, they they give priority to the voice packets over the data packets, and you know, they could really do a good job of cleaning. I like it up. this one. I want this one in my house. This is from Mitel. This is called the convergence unit. It's Tell actually it's this. it's actually it's uh, the name is going to be the Mitel Navigator, mm -hmm. and what's what's neat about this is not only just the form factor. It's I mean, this sits under the monitor, which I love. It's, it's a speakerphone. It's it's very futuristic, yeah. and and what I really like about here. this one is that it it actually um, sort of integrates everything neatly, um, like a whole bunch of different applications. So these soft buttons on the on the hardware. Mm -hmm correspond to the buttons in software on my screen. Right. You, you basically have about 27 different combinations here. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do a quick demo here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the phone just to give you a little bit of an idea. You You're going to call me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you. So I'm going to call this number okay. right here. So you could pick Look it up. At, here. First of all, I love this. It uh, does the caller ID on the screen. That's right. It says Don Smith's calling. That's right. I can That's click the, the screen or I could pick this number here yeah. and say, hey, Don, how are you? Yeah, and now all of a sudden you're speaking your phone and saying hello. Don, it's Ron. <laughs> Ron, why are you using Don's phone? Okay. Well, I think Don will forgive me. But, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, now, what else can we no, do? Don't, don't hang up yet. Don't hang what, up. Uh, one thing, hang up one thing I wanted to uh, show you, actually, um, in the demo, uh, before, before we actually bring this up, I, I just want to... Let me let me hang. Should we hang up? Let's hang okay, up. I'll hang up. Okay. So so you could be busy here working anything you want. Let me just give you an example. Let's say I have uh, iTunes, right? So it's going. There's to actually a soft button that corresponds to iTunes. There's a soft so it's launch that iTunes. Look at that. It's going to be launching I iTunes, and I could let's say I could go in there and ah, I could be playing. There's your Romanian heritage right there, the Gypsy Kings. <laughs> absolutely. 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 Okay. So it's uh, it should be playing it. It is. I'm hearing it. Yes. You can't hear, it, but I hear. Uh, it. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So basically, it's I could be sitting there and doing this, and then right. you know, if the moment the phone this, rings, the phone rings. But well, wait a minute, I'm listening to rock and roll. Oh, All of a it, stopped it stops. It, it stops the the sound exactly. Very and nice. So what's nice is you, you you picked it up, and let's I say I want this in my home office. This is very slick. Is this going to be available soon? Uh, it's going to be available in, in January. In fact, uh, you know, it's it's already uh, being tested in many many different places. I would love to have.